welcome to my February vlog. Uh, I haven't got that much sort of content from the month, so I'm just gonna kind of give a little bit of me in between some of the videos for you, sort of explaining what's going on, what kind of month it was. So the first thing that happened this month was my mum came over for the weekend. We had such a good time. So we started off by looking at the National Gallery and this was really exciting for me because I got to see some Van Gogh paintings, um, which I've always wanted to do. Like I saw the sunflowers, which is an image we've had in our house ever since I was a child. So that was really exciting for me. And um, we just walked around to the square a bit, tried to have a good time. <laughs> on Secret London which is a Facebook page of just like London things and I thought oh that looks cool and then we just stumbled across it and I found it so fascinating and really exciting there was one shop which had like vintage children's books in which was really cool seeing some old editions of Enid Blyton and Peter Rabbit and that kind of thing um, but it also had Doctor Who things, like had a massive Dalek and Doctor Who board games and that was really cool for me because I'm a bit of a geek. Then on the Sunday, which is one of the main things my mum really came for, we had a makeover at Trini London. We really love Trini, uh, if you don't know, Trini is from Trini and Susanna, which, who had a show in the noughties. We follow Trini a lot and we're really interested in everything she does. So we got a makeover and this is one of the best makeover things I've ever really had. Not that I've had many, but it's the best that I've seen because they don't just make you over, you go away and you carry on with your life. They teach you how to do it yourself and you can sort of work with each other. So that was really fun for us. <laughs> as a group and this particular Tuesday I decided to show them the bookshop. We found one that was a lot of philosophy things. It's philosophy but like tarot readings and what, what do you call that? Like crystal balls and you know what I mean like telling the future kind of thing. Uh, that was really cool, that was really fun. Then that weekend my boyfriend came and these are some really cool pancakes that we had at this place that's just down the road from me. It was pretty cheap, uh, which is really good. And we just had these for breakfast. They were delicious, but he had to leave a day early because of the storm, which meant we didn't get to do that much together, which was kind of sad. And then I dyed my hair brown. Guys, I feel like I haven't actually done any of this vlog stuff in a while. So um, look, I dyed my hair brown. I was getting really sick of the blonde. Um, I mean, I love having blonde hair and I'm probably gonna miss it a lot, but having to keep blonding it is just so stressful, costly, it's just not good. So, um, I went brunette because it's just, it's just more graceful when it grows out and everything. So, uh, I'm a brunette now and I'm kind of loving this little headscarf thing I'm doing today. More pancakes. I had my friends around here for pancake day. We tried to make vegan pancakes, but I will say it was a slight touch of a disaster. Pancakes seems really easy, it's just not. But once we got an egg involved, it became a lot easier. Maybe I'm just not very practiced. And then that evening, because I was feeling really sociable for some reason. It's not something that happens very often. But I decided to go out with the people in my flat to one of the UCL student 
bars um, for a student event and it was just really fun hanging out with them. And then this weekend I had some of my sixth form friends around, so I had my friend Ophelia and Katie. It was a really fun day, I didn't have that much content like I say but I have some photos so we went to Neil's yard because it's a pla place in London that I've never been to, it's sort of hidden in Covent Garden and it's just a really colourful place. And then we looked a bit around Covent Garden, we went to Leicester Square, we went around the National Gallery and I showed them some of the photos that I was just talking about, all the pictures I was just talking about because I thought they'd find that interesting. I tend to do the same thing sort of again and again in London because, I mean you'll notice that the things I did in January I did twice and the things I've done in February I've done twice. So we had fun, uh, yeah, so that was what we did in the day, then we just hung out for a little while and then in the evening we went to a propaganda event at Dingwalls, which was really fun, it's all like indie music. And we met this girl and we danced with her for a bit, she was really cool, it was her 21st birthday um, and she seemed to be having a wonderful time. So that was my February to be honest. I'm trying to think of other things that happened in February. So my reading week was really fun, so on the Monday I went to The Little Women with my boyfriend after a dinner at Bill's. Then on the Tuesday, I went to see Emma with my mum. Both of these were so good to see like right next to each other. And there was, cause they both were very light. I saw my beautiful niece Madison during reading week uh, and I did a video with her, make sure you check that out. I also saw my nanny and my granddad and I saw a lot of people during reading week. I was very sociable. March is going to be really, really hard because basically because of the coronavirus my job is suffering I don't want to go into too much detail about this because it's quite a private thing but basically I'm not gonna get paid very well over the next couple of months unless I find myself a new job um, so that's gonna be really difficult and maybe I'll sort of take you guys along with me as I do that see you guys next time good, good, good. Oh, 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 oh,